space-based technology has become one of the cornerstones of our modern society. Cutting edge techniques such as satellite technology and space applications are indispensable as the world strives towards 2030 and beyond. I'm astronaut Scott Kelly. Below me is planet Earth, our spaceship flying through the universe. And when I look out at Earth, what I'm struck by is not only its beauty, but how fragile our atmosphere looks. Global giants like Amazon and SpaceX want vast new group of satellites called mega constellations. The Earth's orbital space environment is a finite resource. Vakrakunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Sama Prabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarva Karesu Sarvada, thus defining the eternal relationship between micro, meso, and macrocosmos. Namaste, everybody. This is Chris Yadam, and I'm nothing but a 15 year old science enthusiast who is currently studying in St. Xavier's College, Mighty Girl, in grade 11, and I'm currently living in Thapagaon, Baneshwar. And now diving in into the topic, World Space Week, which is celebrated every year from October 4th to October 10th uh, in, throughout the world in over 80 countries has set this year's theme to be space and sustainability. Space, a fascinating five letter short and simple sounding word has not been so simple to describe. Lots of great minds of the history have struggled to describe these five letter simple sounding words and this year's theme Space and sustainability, sustainability relates to how humanity uses the space and specifically the orbital area surrounding it. From International Space Station to combination had allies. A relationship of humanity with space has been inevitable. Furthermore, space tourism, pollution and disaster detection, and observations of lots of various things. The list goes on and on and on. And this year's theme aims to celebrate the sustainability of future space related missions. Began from the launch of Sputnik first in 1957 AD, the space race of exploration does not seem to retard anytime soon. From reusable rockets to mass colonization, everyone everywhere seems to be pushing their limits to the fullest. But space sustainability is not just limited to all these fancy named space missions. Achieving sustainability from space is a different ask. This addresses how space can be used to achieve a fairer, better, and safer planet Earth. This includes achieving the 169 targets which forms the UN 17 Sustainable Development Goals, 65 of which are directly benefited from observation satellites and related technologies. Ensuring that all humanity can be able to use outer space for peaceful purposes and socio-economic benefit has been the true essence of space sustainability. Out of many existing problems, one is the increasing density of debris in outer space which could lead to decrease in our ability to sustain the benefits that space systems have been providing us. And it might not have been affecting us directly on Earth, but ignoring this means keeping all those 1800 satellites at stake. And it does not just harm the existing ones, but also increases the risk of failures of future such launch related missions which could disrupt its proper use. And space debris is just one among the many problems others like space weather, heat radiation and unintentional interference are the pre-existing ones. Some states are developing or have developed numbers of country space capabilities which could be used to deny, disrupt, uh, degrade, deceive or destroy any kind of elements of threats. Numbers of treaties and confidence building measures have been signed by nations throughout the world. Innovative innovations such as reusable rockets are sure to help in mitigating all these kind of problems. And this year's theme is set to celebrate this kind of initiative. It is set to motivate this kind of initiatives for the betterment of our common home. And as Yuri Gagarin said, and I quote, while orbiting the Earth from this space, I saw how beautiful our planet Earth is. Mankind, let's preserve and increase its beauty and not destroy it. And now it's time we think not just about ourselves, but also about the entire space surrounding it. And in the closing remarks, all I have to say is, this is the only planet we have and it's the time we think not just about ourselves but also about the upcoming generations. And let every one of us come together to make this space with a great success. Let's keep exploring and saving those possibilities for our future generations so that our common home can be a better place for everyone. Save mankind, save space. Thank you so much.